guys welcome back to my channel my name is Mimi if you're new here I am planning on losing 80 pounds this year 2021 it is Monday it is February 15th 2021 and um, you guys I'm starting Nutrisystem I have my coffee um, so with Nutrisystem oh gosh you know I just want to you guys, I feel like I need to update you real quick if you're new here. Long story short, I had my first baby in July of 2020, and I started WW in, uh, in September of 2020, and I lost, I got up to 14 pounds lost, then after the holidays, I hit 10 pounds lost, um, and then I got back up to 11 pounds lost. Um, so I have a wedding, a COVID safe wedding to go to in April and, um, we're already in February. For me, I feel like I wasn't necessarily just in a plateau with my weight loss. I feel like I'm, I just like, the weight is just not coming off. First of all, I love WW. I think WW is a great program. I think it teaches you portion control. I've, I've done Weight Watchers many, many times throughout my life. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older. I don't know if it's hormones. I don't know if it's postpartum. I don't know. Um, it could be a million reasons why my, my weight loss is just stalled. And so anyways, I just kind of felt like I was in a rut. Anyways, I made the decision for myself. And I think this is important uh, to make the decision for yourself um, to do Nutrisystem. I definitely know that Nutrisystem is probably not going to be like a long-term thing. You know, it is a fad diet. It is food that they give you. You know what I mean? And um, so it's not really sustainable when you're, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like I can eat one of their meals and then go and eat a bunch of, you know, food I can get at the grocery store. Um, I feel like once you get off their plan... Uh, and if you haven't reached your goal and you haven't gone through their maintenance program, then yeah, you know, like chances are you'll probably gain weight back. I received the food a few days ago. I haven't opened the big main pantry box, but I'll show you guys that. Um, and I also have a video clip of what it looks like when they send you the frozen items. There's dry ice to keep everything nice and cold. I got the chef's choice. So this is like all the favorites people order. So I thought that that styrofoam cooler was really cool. You could totally keep it if you wanted to just kind of like repurpose it and like use it for camping or something. This is cool. Okay. So, oh, it looks like they organized everything by your meals, like breakfast, lunch, dinner. I love this, you guys, because this is something that you don't necessarily even have to put in your pantry. Like you literally put it in your garage if it's like wintertime like it is now, um, and it will stay nice and fresh, which I think I'm going to do because I like how they compartmentized everything. I don't think I'm going to have breakfast just yet. I'm going to drink my coffee and log in for work. Um, but I'll, when I have my breakfast, I'll show you guys what I choose. Oh, I want to do the before picture or the before in the mirror. Let's go. Okay, guys, this is me. Hello. Um, I'm wearing my Fabletics leggings, my slippers from Amazon, which I have them listed um, in my Amazon store. Anyways, right here, you guys, this is baby, right? This is baby we. And so I'm really just looking. This is my before. And I think that these leggings really do not hide anything. So so um, problem areas all over the place, but I love my body. Um, I just want to lose the weight for health and just to feel more, you know, confident. I just realized I haven't eaten breakfast yet, but I just realized there's a second compartment to this box because I was like, oh, I was supposed to get my protein shakes and a free shaker bottle. <laughs> And then I was like, let me just remove all the food and see if there's another level. And there is, because the, the, the box is tall. So I'm like, wait a minute, maybe there's something else under there. I'm going to go actually through the packing slip, the inventory list, and make sure, you know, that I have everything. Um, because if, I, you know, someone, a human being is boxing these. Um, so you want to make sure that uh, you have all your food that you ordered. And so I'm going to go through that when she goes down for a nap. I just got done recording um, some Instagram stories. I usually record my stories in the morning. Ellie just went down for another nap. She's crying a little bit, but she will go down. Um, she likes to fight it. She... As she gets older, I know the naps are going to be less and less, um, but I do have my second cup of coffee. So I'm about to pick my breakfast. I kind of wanted to give you guys more of like an overview, like just so you can see all the food. Um, and there's a lot of food that I put in the fridge uh, for dinner 
um, but this is all breakfast and lunch minus the frozen food stuff. Um, and then these are all the snacks. And so this is for four weeks worth of food, you guys. Do I want cereal? We have granola. Thankfully, I have milk, uh, fat-free milk, so that's awesome. Um, do I want a muffin, double chocolate muffin? So many choices. Oatmeal. We have a Harvest Nut Oat Bar, Cinnamon Bun Bar, Peanut Butter Oat Bar. I don't really want anything frozen. Honestly, I just want to grab and go and eat. So I'm thinking probably a bar or a muffin. I think I'm going to do a bar because I still have coffee. I'm going to do the Peanut Butter Oat Bar. So I think I can just scan this into the app and then it will just go right into um, for my first portion. Like this is the Nutrition System app. So I'm gonna let it load. Um, so this is what it looks like. The interfaces are like so similar with all of these apps, like WW, um, My Fitness Pal. So this is like what it is, you guys. You literally pick a breakfast, an entree. You have your your shake if that's part of what you got. They link it to your order, so like everything that's that they're wanting you to eat is part of what you ordered. So you're not like trying to find something extra. So I'm gonna try this peanut butter oat bar. really good it doesn't taste fake at all like you could taste the peanut butter you could taste the oats it's actually really really good mm, very good and it's like a normal size bar like maybe like the size of like a kind bar for comparison hi ellie you want to say hi to everyone on youtube they haven't seen you in a little bit tell them that you are seven months almost eight months and you're standing and you're jumping. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta go get my water, okay? You guys, it's 1 p.m. I still have to get rid of that box. Um, but I was going to grab some water. I finished my two cups of coffee. Like, honestly, it's so crazy. And I don't know if you're like this too, working from home, but like, I feel like the time just like flies by and that could also be because I have a baby now <laughs> but I feel like I look up and I'm like oh my gosh it's like almost dinner and <laughs> like where did the day go I'm gonna do the protein shake because that's next on my list in the app so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I want to show you um real quick this is what was in the rest of the box so they gave me a free shaker bottle which is nice because these things are like eight dollars so hey um and then I got the chocolate fudge mix uh, uh protein mix and i got the sweet vanilla um and then they also gave me this one i don't really know what the difference is i think maybe these are packets versus the jar the jugs um so anyways i'm probably gonna start with the sweet vanilla the protein powder looks like normal protein powder that you would get from anyone else. It's not bad, like, it doesn't taste bad. Maybe if I added a little bit more water, but I kind of like the consistency. It definitely probably will taste a lot better when it's really cold. It's 348. Um, <laughs> I literally just got done with the majority of my work for the day, so I don't think I'm going to be logging back in. Um, I'm feeling kind of hungry. I had that shake. It was really good, but I'm feeling hungry, so I guess it's lunchtime. Definitely don't want a bar. Uh, I think I want, like, this looks really good. Cheddar rice. We got three cheese chicken. <sighs> I do have things in the freezer, which I can look at. Um, loaded mashed potato. Ooh, that sounds really good, too. Hmm. Since it's so late, should I do this one? I don't know what I want, you guys. Um, I don't want this one. I probably would save this one for like a weekend thing. Um, I love tuna, so I'm excited about that. And there's beans and ham soup. Mm. Ooh, this looks really good, but that also might be a day where I'm just like extra hungry and I'm like craving something delicious. I'd go for noodles. <laughs> It's all, you know, there's a science behind this, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and let's just see what it says. I think I just need to put water. Um, add a half cup plus one tablespoon of room temperature water. Okay, stir well. No, let's bring it over here. 
yeah you guys that looks like mashed potatoes now i don't know if it's going to taste like instant potatoes we'll see i'm excited they smell good mm. you guys they taste pretty good i don't know i'm not super picky with potatoes but i feel like these taste really good all right i gotta go i gotta feed her <laughs> yes Hold on. We're trying to um, get look into getting a treadmill. So right now we're trying to decide which one to get. We're thinking Nordic Track. Let me know if you have a treadmill and like what the model is and do you love it and all that good stuff because I need recommendations. It's really hard, especially when you're spending a lot of money. Well, not a lot, but like a lot, you know, for a piece of workout equipment. Hi, you wanna say hi? It's just a camera. So anyways, this is a laundry that needs to go away, and I figured why not stand up, get some steps, maybe play some music and dance, and put away laundry as one of the exercises for today. o'clock at night <laughs> so right now i'm actually um this is done uh i made some turk ground turkey chili for my husband this is something i would normally have eaten um when i was doing ww good you guys super easy to make um i feel like i could probably do a, a video on this one day took the makeup off because i am like i'm done um it, I'm like really tired you guys like it, it's just it's the end of the night. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten since you last saw me I don't know what's going on. Um But i'm hungry. I can feel it like I i've been drinking water 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 And I just like i'm gonna have dinner and then i'm gonna enjoy my snack and then i'm gonna call it a night and just go to bed I've chosen this mac and cheese with turkey sausage. It just looked um pretty decent actually um and all you have to do is put it in the microwave, which gets me excited. So um, let's go ahead and I will do a taste test for you guys on camera. Okay, you guys, I decided to use my vegetables. So I just cut up one cucumber and I'm going to put that in my uh, Nutrisystem app. Um, but yeah, I think this will be good. I didn't put any salt or pepper on it. I'm not sure if you can yet. I have to read. I have to read a little bit more. Um, <laughs> you guys, um, hold on and take a bite. <laughs> I'm hungry. So I'm gonna try this on camera. Let's go ahead and get a little bit of the meat too. Woo! Okay, don't fall off the fork, please. It could be a little warmer, but actually it tastes really good. Like the meat tastes really good. Okay, you guys. So it is the last food for the day cheese puffs mm. um these just looked really appetizing and i'm like let's do it doesn't help that we're watching hell's kitchen <laughs> and all the delicious food okay really really good it kind of tastes like a baked cheeto okay well i'm gonna call it a night i really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today and i really hope that you found this video helpful bye guys